Hey guys, it is me, Extreme Fighter, and I am here going to do a redstone tutorial. So yes guys, I am going to be covering a few things in this video about redstone. Three topics, just like the last one. So, these are my three topics. I'm going to be talking to you guys about piston. I'm going to talk to you guys about repeaters and, well, not repeaters, more like clocks, guys. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys about clocks. And the last piece of redstone that I'm going to talk to you guys about are, well, trip wires. Now, also, if you guys want me to, uh, in another video, talk to you guys about the observer, I do know a lot. Tip arrows. I'm done. I'm done. It's like in PC. It's like PC. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so cool. I'm gonna make. Also, guys, I'm gonna make a custom map for you guys in the future. And uh, yeah, you guys just gotta tell me what what it should be about. If you guys could give me a storyline or like a name, and or something like that. And like because I already have some of it, but I just need a name. So uh, yeah, guys, this is what I. I'm also gonna be. Yeah, that's basically it, guys. And uh, why? Is well, Foxy X Freddy here is showing you guys really quickly how pistons work with sticky pistons. And, um, so yeah, guys, that's actually a very good thing, Foxy. Now, the way that pistons work are pretty weird. I feel like they're actually one of the most unique items in Minecraft, which really give redstone what it does best. Now, there are two types of, uh, of, uh, what do you call it? There are two types of, well, piston. There's the regular piston, there's the sticky piston. So now, when you click the piston, like that, it brings them up it, by one block. That's what pistons are meant to do. But when you don't, but when you let go, what it does is, well, the, what the sticky piston does is it brings the block down. And, um, regular pistons don't bring the block down. So, yeah, guys. That's what regular pistons are... You see? Regular pistons can't pull back because they're not sticky. Now, this is how slime blocks are come in handy. Now, for example... If I have two slime blocks like that... Because, look. For example. I need a, um... Who cares about these normal pistons? Now... Look, I'm going to have something as an example for you guys. Now, now, if with this piston, if it's stained clay, like, for example, look, I bring that up, but it won't move this block. Now, what the slime blocks do, oh, I could put them on that? Oh my god, you could put levers on pistons. That, I love that, guys. That is something that I've been waiting for. You know what, guys? Minecraft is a really good game. You guys should buy it. Oh my god. That's awesome. Okay. Minecraft is a cool game. Now that you can do this, because you used to not be able to put um, pressure plates or anything on them because they're not, they are not weren't solid blocks. But you, as you can see, sticky piston well, slime blocks actually push things that are not actually being pushed by the piston. Yeah, so, um, this, yeah, it sticks to the slime block. That's what blocks do. And, uh, you can make cool things with this. And tell me if you guys want tutorials on how to make things like robots and, uh, missiles and things like that as well. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's basically what they do. Um, by the way, pistons could push up to 12 blocks if you guys want to know. Next, well, our next topic is going to be clocks. So, you can make the clock as long as you want. You just need a lot of repeaters. And as long as you have redstone in the corners, then the, all you do is you put repeaters on your line. You can make them. Ha you can make the clock as fast as you want. But if you make the see, this is how repeaters kind of work. So this is the first tick. That is the fastest one. If you do it on the second tick, the redstone um, will go slower. <laughs> if you do it on the third tick, well then the redstone will go even slower. And the slowest tick is the third tick, so it's like tick, 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 tick. See, those are ticks, so 
I'm gonna make mine pretty, uh, I know what I'm gonna do. Uh, I need to, uh, okay. So I'm gonna make this one, this side, all slow ticks, and I'm gonna make this side all the fast ticks so I can show you. Now these are clocks. They go around and around and around. And they can do things, for example, activate things. Man, Foxy, you said you were gonna help you doing random things. You see? Now you do it fast and look. Slow tick, fast tick, slow tick, fast tick, slow tick. And it'll keep doing that. And you can't have the lever on too long because if you keep it on too long, it'll power it all and the clock will work. So what you need to do is, well, you need to only have the lever a little bit of redstone on for a second, like pop, really quickly. And then you see, there's your clock. And you could even do it like two clocks. Ding, one, two, three. You see? So it's like that. And uh, yeah, guys, that's basically how clocks work. And the last subject is um, trip wires. Now, um, these are how trip wires work. So, you put one trip hook, trip wire hook, in one side, and exactly on the opposite, you put another one. Now, you need string, you put that on the floor, and they, when they connect together, you'll know. Because, um, for example, let me give you guys an example on how you will know. So, when you step on it, you will hear a little click, and these things, these levers will go down, look. You see? And what you could do is anywhere on this block, and I mean anywhere, it'll light up. Literally anywhere. So what you could do with this is things like this. So, um, you could do things like this, guys. You can get dispensers. Oh, uh, what are they at? They're right here. You can get a dispenser or a dropper. Dispenser. Well, dropper, and you can also put dispensers up like that, or droppers, and then you do that, and then what you do is just put something in here, sapling, and uh, sapling, and what you do is you step on it, and that's what it'll do. You see, it'll activate that. So yeah, guys, I hope this redstone tutorial was useful. Go check out the other one, like, subscribe through all that guys and I hope you learned something from this. If you wanna be like a redstone pro, I wouldn't call myself a pro, but I think that from one to ten I'm probably like a like a I don't know, seven or eight. What do you guys think? Um from I haven't done any research on um, any of this. I've learned all this by myself guys and uh yeah, I don't do research for these vid redstone videos, but I know it for sure because I've tested all these things and I just love redstone. So yeah, guys. And um, yeah, guys, uh, like, subscribe, and I can't wait to make another video with for you guys. Bye! Yeah. Um. Please, one thing. One thing, please. Bye, guys.